What's going on guys? So next day I put the video up. It's actually just out right now. I'm sure you guys already watched it. I hope anyways. So what I'm working on now is I got this uh, motor mount kit from uh, CPP. I bought it a while ago actually. I got it off a buddy of mine. So it's pretty simple. It's just going to mount and it's going to you know make your standard uh, you know kind of small block Chevy or whatever it is. Uh, motor mounts that are like the pedestal style that it was used before. So all you do is I've got this one already kind of mounted. You got to drill out these two rivets right there, and then it gives you two uh, bolts, so it kind of centers itself. And then once it's in, you got to drill two holes in the cross member and then bolt it down there. So I'll do this side, get it kind of ground out, get those in. They're supposed to measure, make sure they're level, or I guess you know whatever, square to each other. Drill the holes, mount it down. So pretty simple, but a little bit boring. Okay, here we go. So they're in, drilled some holes, they're all done. Uh, down here, I redid all the uh, lower control arm hardware with all brand new stuff, so it's on my back doing that. Now, I pulled all the stuff out of the basement. I wanna put the front end together, like all the bumpers and all that sort of stuff. So there's a bunch of crates. Not too sure what's in everything, but it looks like it's uh, somewhat cleaned up. Bumper brackets, this must go across the front some way. So I'm going to set up the uh, fender stands, put a coat of paint on all this stuff while I try and figure out how it goes together and uh, hopefully not get too frustrated. Alright, so it's like uh, backyard butcher paint jobs, but I uh, got some bumper brackets. Looks like it's going to go uh, join the fenders together, hood latch. I think these are more bumper brackets. This will go either side of the uh, radiator on the core support. We've got these two little pieces painted up. Looks like these kind of go uh, behind the fender and join the inner fenders and everything all together. Just, uh, that covers the heater core, I believe. See, like there's two or three cars worth of stuff, so there's extra parts. And then over here, I got uh, the blower motor. Like this kind of attaches to the fender. That's the housing, and that looks like that's what pushes into the car. Uh, yeah, that's the heater core and stuff. I'm not too sure what these are for just yet. Sure, I'll figure it out as I go, but I'm gonna start blindly uh, bolting parts on this thing and hopefully it all goes well. Let's just nuts and bolts, how are it gonna be? All right, well, I'm uh, learning lots. I managed to get this kind of all together. I got these pieces in, there's a little piece that goes in there. This crossbar, how the hood latch goes, uh, the blower, fan, the heater core, all that's kind of just in. I think that's how it all goes. Again, I'm not 100%. There must be some sort of pipe that joins these two together, which either I don't have, or maybe it's just like flexible. I'm not too sure. Uh, what else we got going on? I put the grill in. Uh, it is, it's pretty beat up. I had two, this is the best of the bunch. So I was gonna kind of put it in <clears throat> and try and straighten it out. Like it's just like a piece of stamp steel. Uh, so that's there. I guess the piece goes across with the emblem and the park lights maybe kind of right there and then hopefully i can kind of get the bumper on because i think there's some like bumperettes with those little rubber bushings and all that so i think that's kind of that then uh, i'd like to put the headlights in it looks like all the wiring just kind of runs on the inside of the fenders there's little tabs and stuff like that i don't know i mean i'm just kind of winging it here trying to google a few things as it goes but uh yeah it's going going pretty damn good i'm pretty excited most of those pails parts are kind of dwindling down so i think i got spares and starting to see stuff twice but yeah oh i got uh, that's it like i said i'll try and get the grill on maybe hang the bumper do a few things like that uh, i'd like to polish the hood uh bolt the hinges on properly it's kind of loose there's like some little tabs i guess clamp it maybe i'm not too sure again having a car that's all completely taken apart and is getting it is a bit of a situation i still haven't found the gas pedal and has like a kind of a rod and all that so i'm hoping i have that Otherwise, I mean, it's a lot like the 55, so it's uh, pretty good. I just did one of those. It makes a lot of sense. But look at that. Pretty much ready for a motor, so I'll keep working at it. I'll bring you guys back when the bumpers are on, hopefully. All right, so I'm back at it. Hooked out my old man's here polishing. So he'll be working on that after he uh, finishes that side of the car. Got the bumper all together. Polished up a little bit, so hopefully I'll struggle to get this on. And then I gotta do a little screw around with the grill because like I said, it's all bent up and stuff. And I got some clips on this 
parts one. So I'll make the best of the two and bolts are all together. Let's check it out. Bumper is on. I put the headlight buckets in. I only have one screw in each. Got to get some speed clips for it. I haven't found a little whatever bow tie or whatever goes in there and this is kind of busted unfortunately and the grill's kind of whatever but hey it is what it is i think it looks pretty cool but yeah so uh after a full day of wrenching it's time to clean up the garage a little bit and have some supper i'll probably back out a little bit later i'm not too sure uh guys supposed to drop off those uh braces and stuff like that for underneath the car so i'm thinking i'll do a little bit of cleaning up and I don't know if we'll tackle that right away, or if I should get on the brakes, finish the back brakes. But either way, lots of progress, supper time, and uh, we'll be back at it. Alright, well instead of uh, going in for supper, I ended up taking the rear brakes apart. And I had to hammer them off like crazy, everything was seized. But it's actually, uh, there's nothing left of these things. There's actually not even any brake material at all on there so obviously someone had taken it apart or something and put it back together with nothing so i'll take this all completely apart like i said i got new wheel cylinders uh hopefully i can free up everything with the e-brake cable i bought a new front cable i didn't buy a rear cable hope i just lubricate this and uh make that work so i'll pull this all apart get all cleaned up show you guys how it looks so I battled the uh, one side of the brakes back together. Every single thing was seized. Star wheel was seized. I uh, cleaned up the springs. Uh, the cable, e-brake cable is kind of not happy. So I put a bunch of lube in there and worked it back and forth. So hopefully it'll be okay. Because I'm kind of cheaping out and not changing that cable. Uh, otherwise, clean it all, put it back together. New wheel cylinder. This is the one brake line. The one end is broken off. It was pinched. So I'll measure that up and hopefully get something close to that size, pre-made from you know, Canadian Tire or something like that. And then I gotta go through my uh, pile of drums and see which is the best, because these ones are pretty gouged up. Obviously it ran with uh, no pad whatsoever on it, so that's not the best for it. But uh, I'm gonna leave the other side for tomorrow, because it was uh, quite a battle. So I'm gonna do a little cleaning up and call it for the night. All right, so next day I'm back. The mail came, I ended up getting all the uh, flex line I need. So there's, uh, for the brakes, two front, one rear. I actually uh, met a guy, he had some used, I guess not used new, but uh, never installed, so they're used to me, uh, panels. So I ended up getting, this is the inner rocker for the driver's side, so it's got a little bit of surface rust on it, but it was cheap, and it's gonna have all the shape I want, and some holes drilled in it for venting, and, uh, a little junk out of it so I'll probably just chop a few pieces of it and finish up my side uh, this is the brace that I had to cut right out which is gonna be under that little uh, pan I made so that worked out great same thing same guy so I got both these for 75 bucks like half price and uh, I went by Rondex today <clears throat> those guys are always good so I brought him this I don't know if you can see here but these are a couple of little things so he made me uh, some custom touch up so it's whatever the color was but then it's got 50 years of fade on it so I just got a spray bomb and a little uh, you know touch up with a brush type thing so I can hopefully blend in the uh, rocker repair I did and it'll be seamless so I got that working on I don't think I'm gonna do any welding today I'm going out in a couple hours so I don't want to get started on that but uh, I want to finish up the brakes so I got the shoes and all that dealt with. I kind of did that a bunch yesterday. So I got to try and get the line off of the back, which can be a little tricky, but a little bit of heat. Uh, the front ones are actually already off, so it'll be real easy, just from the hard line to the drum or to the wheel cylinder. And I forgot to grab a hard line for the back on the rear end, but then I could basically start filling it up and get the brakes all dealt with. I just got to put the, uh, whoop the little uh, rod from the pedal, you know there's a pedal in this thing, but from the pedal to the uh, master and then I'll have brakes. And while I'm all under there, I was gonna tighten up all of the steering, so it's all just in there finger tight. So it's gonna tighten all that up and cotter pin it. So then realistically in the next you know day or two, this thing will have steering and brakes for the first time in many years. Yeah, so I'll do that. I'll probably get on the floors in the next couple days. So I'll be on the next video. 
and then motor time. Okay, so here we go. The new line is in. It just goes from the hard line to this little bracket with a clip in it. I don't have the clip in just yet. I don't have any. And it goes down here. It just threads into the wheel cylinder. So you sort of thread it into the wheel cylinder first. It's loose and then tighten up that line. I went through tie rods, upper, lower uh, ball joints and everything in the center link and all that. Tighten everything up pretty damn tight and put your cotter pins in. Cotter pin everything so you don't want this stuff coming apart. So pretty simple. But now that's brand new suspension and brakes on the front end. I just got to run over to the other side, do the exact same thing. And then I'll start working on the uh, rear brake hose. Okay, so run over the car. Uh, now what happens is, this is the brake line right here, which goes up to the front. And that's one, it's just nice not to break it. It's a bit of a pain. So right here, the hose has actually been you know, ripped apart at some point. But that supposed to go right there so that's where it goes from a hard line into the flex line which is on the rear end so this is the one you really just don't want to break because it just saves a bunch of time so I spray it with some lube uh, I actually used the torch on just heated it all up and uh, and it came out Nah, I wouldn't say easy but not too bad the big thing is I'll show you a little example here so this is what the fitting looks like that spins real easy what happens all the time it's not so much tight in the threads it's the little pipe the line itself seizes to the inside and as you go to loosen it it'll it'll come out of the threads but it'll twist the line it's not your problem so anyways the line goes back into this little t and that's what goes left side break right side break i don't have the right side break line i gotta make that one yet this one came apart no big deal so now all i gotta do i try to loosen it but this line should just kind of unthread like this a little dirty and there you go. And right here, that's what the new one looks like. That's the old one. So same thing. There's just one little clip holding that in. So I'll take that out. This end will come out. I'll be able to thread it in this T and uh, start putting it all back together. So I'll clean this all up, put it back together, and show you guys how it turned out. Okay, so there we go. It's the old line going into the new one put the little clip on you can kind of trace it around it goes up to its little T everything's good there and I just hook the one line back up so it's running across I just have to uh, make one new line over there and the brakes will be done so that's a nice little achievement uh, up front it was just while I was under the car this is that uh, brace so it should fit pretty good I gotta do a little hammering on it but it'll be no big deal and that's all new metal that I welded in so I can do that and then you can see I just it's all rough cut but I have the new uh, a little light there but I have that new inner rocker so I'm gonna trim this all down make it look nice I'll weld in the inner rocker and then I can just kind of put this where I want it because it does have to touch that's where the inner rocker would be like that buzz that on and then there's just one little hole at the front for that one so I have to weld a little patch in there clean all the rest out so the underside is pretty, pretty much done i've already kind of undercoated this side so it looks uh, a little less ugly but it needs a few more coats and that's it but that's it for this video that's it for me tonight i uh, appreciate all the guys watching I'm making lots of progress there lots of subscribers and all that so hit the subscribe button like the video and tell your friends and we'll be right back on it laying on my back welding in braces tomorrow